I'm standing in front of health services where this week the cigar sat down with Dr. Nason to discuss sexually transmitted infections or STIs. How common are STIs? How are they prevented? And what to do if you have one or think that you have one? STIs are a real issue on campus. Not surprisingly, this region has a higher um, level of STIs because it's, you know, we've got 17,000 young people um, who are in a part of their life where they're sexually active. Um, and so it's not surprising that we see that, just looking at our demographic. And that's really a big reason that health services exist on, on college campuses is really for reproductive health. And that includes exposure and treatment of STIs. And the only way to prevent STIs is through barrier protection. Condoms, dental dams, things of that nature to prevent an STI to be spread to another person. In the last year, Health Services has started an RA-run STI clinic. It's, it's for students who have no symptoms but want to be screened for STIs because either they've had sexual partners and they just haven't been tested for a while or ever, or they think they may have been exposed at some point. And so they can come in and they can talk to a nurse and she actually orders all of the appropriate screening. Any positives would come to me as medical director and then I would, I would render the treatment. So that's our clinical team. And of course, if people are having symptoms, you know, um, then obviously we want to get them in as soon as possible to get that treated and evaluated. I think a lot of students kind of operate under the false um, idea that it won't happen to me or it can't happen to me. Um, these things are just are commonplace in your, you know, the age demographic of students. And so it's something you have to be aware of. So, you know, really taking the precautions, talking to your partners before engaging in, in, in sexual practices is a good idea. It's awkward for the student and for the patient, you know, the providers, it's, it's, it's what we're here for. It's our job, we wanna help, you know, so um, never have to be, feel awkward talking to us because we're just here to help.